Today we're going to talk about Crocs. They're the greatest backpacking shoe for a multitude of reasons. For one, they're lightweight. My dad always says they weigh basically nothing. So we're going to stick with that. Specs, basically nothing in weight. It's like carrying air. Uh, secondly, the bottoms have soles that you can walk on. So your foot, it'll slide in here and then um, you'll press down. And there's actually a little bit of give here. So these are these are uh, the floral print, which means they're for uh, gardening, uh, much like, well, whoever takes care of these ferns should have been wearing these, but that's okay. Uh, they come in a pair. So if you have both your feet, these should work pretty good. Um, you can strap them to your pack in a lot of different ways. There's these, uh, I guess they're like ankle huggers or something. They wrap around your ankle and they hold it on your foot. You can even hike in these actually. They look pretty good with socks. Uh, that's my best look is when I wear like short, short socks and these. Um, that's when most people want my number. Uh, beyond that, um, I mean, they're very simple. They're good for river crossings and water crossings because when you're wearing giant boots, you don't want to be walking across the river in those. Um, yeah, I think we've hit all the major features. Uh... Well, hey, everybody. My name is Legend, Jeffrey Frederick Garmeyer Legend. And I have a challenge in this week's stupid ideas I think up and actually go through with. I've decided I'm going to run the fastest 5k I can in Crocs. Um, well, it looks like the dog's kind of in the way. Ruby, go, go, look, look out. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to run the fastest 5K I can in these. Apparently, these are kind of the, I guess, the psychedelic style of Crocs. These are new. I haven't even broke them in. My style is going to be Crocs and socks. So, it sort of rhymes. Let's see how it goes. Let's go out to the field after the short training montage. just purchased my pair of Crocs that I'll be running a 5k in and uh, let's uh, try them out. Let's get a mile in, see how they feel. It's going to be interesting. Well, um, when I run this race, what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage sport mode. So I'm going to be uh, flicking this little strap backwards. It's going to rest on my foot. I should kind of show you. It's going to be like like it's gonna stick on here like this, and that, that's what I'm gonna have. So that's how I'm going for it. Croc mode. Here we go. Let's go do this 5K. All right, it's race day. It's my big Croc debut. Um, my number here, it's backwards, but it's 3192, and I'm told that's a good number because those numbers add up to 15 which is a good number, I think. So uh, we will see how this goes. I'm wearing my Crocs down here. 5K coming up. It's gonna be something, gonna be something. I got a pimple on my face, so I'm gonna look great in pictures, especially with this shirt. All right, time to send it. Jeff, are you ready for this or what? Yeah, yeah, I've been training in Crocs. I have my race shirt on. I'm ready to send it. <laughs> Two 
and Sam. Oh, oh, nice class. Next we have Kenzie, then Nicholas Horton. Hey. <laughs> Next we have Jeffrey over the finish line. Finished in 1905. It hurt a ton. Crocs are probably not meant for running, but it's over. It's over. I won my age somehow. Time to go get my award. Oh man. Ah. Well, we're back. It went well. My feet, my little toe definitely feels it on that side, but. I think a 1905 for a 5K, and I'm gonna be doing this for for a long, long time. But challenge is complete. We did it. Now these Crocs can go back to being camp shoes. Over and out. <laughs>